Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So, of course, I just wanted to say that I'm not happy about the weekly analysis results because most of the signals haven't worked well. Uh, only the AUDUSD has worked indeed really well and it has went all the way from the triggering area to the take profit level, making exactly 77 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the other pairs sadly have reversed actually later uh, or after my entry level. For example, the EURUSD actually um, the signal was for the short for the EURUSD and as we can see the, the EURUSD hasn't been triggered and sadly it went all the way to the other edge of the safe zone. Meanwhile, Pound USD. Pound USD, I mentioned that we can start buying the pair at this level of 1.36187. Uh, However, the pair sadly went 60 pips below and it reversed indeed at 1.3587, respecting that previous resistance right here. And after that, the Pound USD started the reversal. Um, similar actually to the AUD US, to, to, sorry, to the USD CAD. USD CAD, as you can see, uh, hasn't been triggered exactly from the level. I have mentioned at 1.2724 it uh, but instead the USD CAD was really, really good for the buy at 1.26781 uh, which was the other edge of the safe zone and in, in, in general if we place the buy right here the USD CAD has went in 115 pips of profit meanwhile of course the signal was to buy from here making the signal really not that valid anymore uh, also same to the uh, usd gpy and usd chf and the gold itself hasn't been triggered at all because the pair has opened with a big gap on monday as you can see on the other side of the safe zone now of course i wanted to mention about the deal of the day which i have which i have sent uh, two days ago some people actually was criticizing me for not going with the trend and wondering why the hell did I started shorting the gold instead of buying. Actually, um, there was a mistake from my side and also I have to explain to someone or sorry, to, to everyone about uh, trading with the trend and what is the reason sometimes we have to trade against the trend. Anyway, I will explain that in the deal of the day video and this video I'm going to dedicate it for the midweek analysis. Anyway. So regarding the euro USD, now for the, for the euro USD, as we can see, the pair actually is continuing the bullish momentum, and I think I have actually done my homework and I have found that the dollar index, actually the US dollar index, is actually continuing its weakness, and therefore um, the euro USD should be still valid for the buy, but we have to pick the right moment. So, however, uh, let me just delete the old signal. And let me just show you something here. Now, as we can see, we're having this, this upper trend right here. And as you can see, this support land line has been respected several times. And what we can notice right here, that the Euro USD is right now reversing. Let's look at the bigger picture. Let's look at the weekly candles. How, is, how about that? So let me, let me delete these lines. They are annoying somehow. One second. All right, that's good. So let me just show you something here. If we zoom out and we look at the euro USD on the weekly uh, candles, we can notice that right here we had this long term resistance trend line. And as you can see right here, my friends, the pair has actually made the bullish breakout from this resistance trend line and it has already retested the broken level and it has created a new support trend line and is shooting its way up. Now, that is something I am teaching on my channel that when we are seeing any breakout happening from a resistance trend line, the pair is actually going to continue the rise until it hit the nearest resistance and after that it's going to actually continue the fall to retest again the broken resistance trend line now keep in mind that we are right now on the weekly candles that means we need to understand that the pair actually going to continue the rise i think no less than 1.2435 before going to be really valid for the short actually we can make it like, like that that is actually better yes that's better uh, until 1.23926 actually the pair is actually going to be uh, good for the buy until it reach that price level and after that we can start looking for shorting meanwhile uh, that means that the euro USD actually should be rising for another 100 pips before it's going to be valid for the sell therefore let's go back to the 4 hour time frame and we are going to, to depend actually on this support trend line to start again buying the euro USD I think this spin bar right here is tricking the traders i don't think that the pair is actually uh, gonna 
fall after uh, this rising and therefore the euro usd should be really good for the buy right here after the second attempt of the support so as we can see we had right here a broken resistance level that resistance level has become here a new support and as we can see that is considered as a support number one and we are getting ready now to buy the euro usd at the support number two and therefore that means euro usd should be good for the buy at 1.22530 and the safe zone actually we are going to use just the same one we had right here so i'm just gonna drag it just like that so in this case the safe zone is actually is actually gonna be below the support level right here this support right here which means actually if the pair has actually made the, the breakout from that resistance from, sorry from that support trend line it means that the pair actually most likely gonna continue the fall which is not seems to be happening right now with the weaken with the weakness of the dollar so therefore there goes uh, the entry level for the euro usd and regarding the take profit level the take profit level we can make it right here at that previous sorry i'm just looking here at the left let me just show you uh, the top of the resistance right here so we are aiming this time 120 sorry 120 pips from uh, profit from this trade so therefore the take profit level is going to be uh, 1.2347 there goes your signal for the euro st and i really hope this signal is going to fix up what we did then the weekly analysis and deal of the day and hopefully we will make some profits out of it for the pound now the pound actually some people ex ex was expecting to continue shorting the pair however i don't think that the pound usd is good for uh, the short right now i still believe that the pound usd should be good for the buy um of course the reason for that is uh, about brexit deal and the fact that they have already left the european union commercially of course and therefore we can start again looking for buying the pound usd at the very exact same level of where it has reversed at 1.35587 that means we have to wait for the pound usd to fall for another uh, 47 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy let me just edit the entry a little bit more i just want to be precise as much as possible and it's gonna be like that the edge of the safe zone all right and the other edges is, is, is like that so the safe zone should be ranging for 63 pips which is fair enough and therefore uh, let me just edit this one that the buy is actually gonna happening gonna be happening on 3.1.34992 and of course we have to understand that we are actually relying on that previous resistance right here and that resistance at uh, these resistance attempts that actually they are going to support the pound usd to continue rising and i believe the take profit level at 1.37708 is still going to be valid however uh, that means we are look looking right now for almost 200 pips of profit i don't think this is so realistic so let me just edit the take profit level to be at the same level of that previous key support level and i think by end of friday the pair actually gonna rise at oh wait a minute hold on I'm, I'm making mistakes again the pair has already reached that level that means the pair actually gonna continue the fall and then it's gonna actually okay hold on that actually actually changes everything because not everything i mean that changing about the take profit level you know something yes yes that's actually let's be let's, let's be let's be more safe i think all in all we can start buying the pound usd right here from that level as i mentioned however we are going to set our take profit level at the attempt number two from that resistance actually what i was thinking about that the pound usd is actually going to continue the rise and i was looking to expect where i can expect from the pound usd to continue rising but then i thought later man come on turn on your mind just make the tech profit level at the at the resistance number two on this upper trend and you will be fine so therefore yes i think that's better let's set our tech profit level exactly right here at the second attempt of the resistance which is definitely going to happen with this strong upper trend so the tech profit level is going to be 1.37025 there goes your signal for the pound usd and i really hope it's going to work very well and bring us good profits 
now let's look at the AUD USD. So the AUD USD, which was the only one who, which worked well actually from the weekly analysis, uh, as you can see, the pair actually continuing its bullish momentum and the pullback has already been finished. So therefore, let's just delete this old signal of the sell and we are going to right now to focus on the buy. Now, where exactly we can start buying the AUD USD? Of course, we can start buying the pair exactly right here from this previous resistance level after being retested by this pullback. So therefore, we can look for uh, buying the AUD USD after falling for another uh, 25 pips. And of course, the we have to change the edge of the safe zone to be right here. Mm, exactly like that. Now, notice that this 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 level of the safe zone is not random. I'm not setting this randomly. Of course, we are looking always for the best levels. Um, we are looking for where we can expect from the pair to reverse again. If in case the pair hasn't reversed exactly from the level I have mentioned, I can expect from the pair to reverse on the other level. And that is exactly what happened, by the way, with the other pairs. For example, USD CAD. USD CAD, I was, I was expecting from the pair to reverse right here. But I set my other edge of the safe zone exactly right here where I'm expecting my where, where actually I'm setting my plan B that the pair actually might reverse. If in case it didn't reverse here, it definitely gonna reverse here. This is exactly what happened. So anyway, going back to the AUD USD, uh, we can expect from the pair to fall for another. No, that's a lot. Hold on. 77 pips. It's not my style to set that much of stop loss. Uh, let me just edit this. It is too big, actually. So exactly right here at that previous support level, because actually if the pair has fallen below my entry level, we can expect from the pair to reverse actually from that previous support level. But however, I really doubt this is going to happen. I think in worst cases, the AUD USD going to reverse exactly from the level 0 0.76905. I think that is that's better, I think. You know something? Let me just set this exactly right here. Because that is exactly what I'm really expecting from the pair to reverse. And the other edge of the safe zone is going to be just below that support on 0 0.76424. Yes, that's actually much, much better. And I feel more confident with this signal. Exactly like that. Like that. All right, good. So we can start buying the AUD USD. USD, AUD USD for the buy at the level 0 0.76997 and of course for the take profit level it's gonna be exactly let me just go to the daily candles we can set this target right here at that resistance exactly right here at 0 0.760 uh, and hopefully we can yes we can expect 100 pips uh, profit from this trade so therefore the take profit is gonna be 0 0.7804 I really hope this signal is going to work very well and will bring us lots of profit. And please, guys, of course, be careful when you are trading um, with the AUD, USD and the, and the other pairs. Now, let's look at the USD CAD. So, of course, the USD CAD has made this a strong bearish momentum. Uh, this strong bearish candle has appeared. And therefore, of course, there is nothing we can do with the buy signal. So, therefore, let me just uh, get rid of all of that. And let's look at the USD CAD and expect what we can and see what we can expect from this pair. Now, actually, currently the pair is reversing from a support level, as we can see. However, with a strong bearish momentum, as we can see on the daily candles as well, it seems like that the pair is actually continuing its falling. However, we can start actually shorting the pair exactly at that previous resistance level right here, where actually the pair might re might reverse, it might just make a pullback just to, re to retest that broken support level right here on the uh, 1.27150 and after that it's gonna continue the fall this is strong bearish candle is actually telling us a lot it's telling us that even we had right here a strong bullish momentum but the pressure from these sellers is actually much stronger and of course i think if we look at the resistance trend line right here like that actually it's being respected so therefore um there is, I think, no way that we can expect to start buying the USD CAD with this current uh, situation. We have to look only for the sell. So, therefore, I want to start short the USD CAD at the level 1.27150. That is exactly where I, I really prefer to start shorting the USD CAD. Because right here, as we can see, uh, my friends, if we go to the one hour time frame, we can notice that right here we had 
uh, a small resistance level which we can actually rely on however we can expect from the pair to go just for 10 pips against our trade why because as we can see if we start shorting the usd cad right from this level we are also having this tail right here those who are following my channel for a long time they know about this one of course that the pair most likely is going to continue uh, continuing uh, uh, the reversal right after hitting the nearest tail to the bearish breakout candle and after that the pair actually going to continue the fall however just to be more realistic and more careful to not miss this opportunity we are going to start short the usd cad exactly after rising for another 35 pips which is going to be the previous resistance right here so usd cat good uh, good for the short at 1.27150 and for the take profit level actually we are going to use this take profit level mentioned right here actually we are having here two signals for the sell uh did i enter it already i think yes I, that's my mistake sorry <laughs> all right so let me just set the other edge of the safe zone which is gonna be right here at the peak of that resistance so 50 it's gonna be yes, about 58 pips which is fair enough exactly like that and the take profit level we are going to use the one mentioned before exactly at that previous support level right here so we are looking for almost um, 83 pips profit from this trade the take profit level is gonna be at 1.26236 uh, there goes your signal for the USD CAD and also really I hope it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now let's look at the USD JPY now for the USD JPY as you can see the pair actually reversing right here on that previous support level and we can, what we can see right here that there is an attempt from the sell buyers to push the market to go more up however let me just be sure about something let's just delete all of these signals yes like that better let's go to the weekly candle now what we can see right here that the us usd gpy seems like it actually has reversed exactly on that previous support level look at that this is amazing this is really interesting what we can see right here guys that we are having right here a support number one and right here a support number two and seems like the usd gpy right now reversing on the support number three uh, sorry number three now the interesting thing here is if you remember guys i'm always telling you that this the the right way to draw your support line is in a way that the line is touching both of the tails of the candles and that is exactly what's happening right now with the usd gpy it seems like it has reversed exactly after touching this level so it didn't reverse after you know something i think i'm wasting your time let me just go straight to the point <laughs> okay so th what i'm trying to say is we can expect actually to start buying again the USD GPY if actually it reverse from that previous support level and fall again to that previous support right here I'm expecting from the USD GPY actually to reverse exactly after hitting that previous support level and it's gonna fall all the way to that previous support again and after that we can start again buying the USD GPY however some of you will tell me Basala the momentum is very strong the the bearish momentum is very strong and you are going against the trend then why are you trying to start buying the usd gpy now as we can see my friends sometimes the trend has to reverse the trend just can never hold the position for or the direction forever you are seeing right here a bearish momentum as we can see we're having right here a resistance trend line what i see that the pair actually is right now on is facing a strong support level and we can expect from the usd gpy on the daily candles to start rising a little, little bit more to continue the pullback and hit that resistance trend line again that is the reason i'm buying the usd gpy because i th i'm sure it's gonna actually continue the rise just to hit that previous uh, resistance trend line and after that it's gonna continue the fall as we can see also we are having right here one single attempt of fitting that previous resistance uh, at 103.792 so most likely the usd gpy is actually going to continue the fall i just noticed that we are in 20 minutes of the video and i'm just talking a lot and let's just go straight to the signal because this is really boring so 102.624 is where we are start actually going to buy the usd gpy and the other edge of the safe zone is going to be i think a little bit more 
just like right here below that support level exactly about 50 pips 55 pips which is really fair enough exactly like that and the take profit level is gonna be the peak of the resistance right here when is the when the pair hopefully gonna continue the rise to hit that resistance trend line so we are looking to make about 113 pips profit from this trade so the take profit level at 103.792 hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us good profits now USDCHF USDCHF however is going to be better for the short let me delete the old signal and as we can see the pair right now is rising so we are getting ready for shorting the pair so it's going to actually as we can see we're having right here that resistance attempt this is a resistance number one I, i'm hurrying up because i don't want to make vid the video so long and it's just a midweek analysis it's not the weekly analysis so usdchf good for the short as 0 0.6 sorry double eight one double five yes and for the edge of the safe zone we can make it right here until the peak of that previous uh, resistance right here and uh, which was also previously a strong support so it's gonna be almost 55 pips as well exactly like that and for the take profit level the take pro I, I i really hate anal analyzing the ucc shift with the current situation so anyway we can see right here we are having right here a strong uh, key support level so we are actually hoping that the ucc shift might continue the fall until it hit it after exactly 100 pips and hopefully this is going to be in good profit so the take profit level going to be 0 0.87085 there goes your signal for the usdchf and i hope also it will work very well for everyone now let's look at the gold the gold is really important because actually the gold right now is uh, in a strong bullish momentum so therefore let me just get rid of the old signal and delete all of that and let's just be clear about something about the gold it is actually going to continue the rise and however not for a long time if I'm, if I'm not mistaken this time what we can see right here that we're having here a strong resistance level at 1959.89 however right now the gold is supported by the weakness of the US dollar and what we can expect right here is from the U gold is actually to start ranging at that level and if i'm not mistaken also the gold is going to be stuck in a neutral trend um sub or actually stuck in the pressure between sub uh, buyers and sellers but eventually and in general direction the gold is going to be good for the buy for the buy sorry so therefore what we can actually do right here we can look at uh, on the daily candles we can see that we had right here a strong support level which was also recently a key resistance uh, with two attempts however what we can see also right here that we also here i want you guys to open your eyes this candle right here that candle cannot be ignored because that tail is representing a support by itself and as we can see the pair has already reversed from the same level of that tail of this of the scandal in the case that the, the pair actually is respecting that support level right here look at that this is perfection look at that the reverse happened right here and also happened right here that was actually a better level to start buying the gold however and just to be accurate i want to start buying the gold exactly from the same level of that's a strong key resistance level at 1931.26 that's i think gonna be more convenient to start buying the gold but sadly we have to wait for it to fall for another 150 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy um exactly like that so that is actually gonna be really the best level to start buying the gold and therefore gold should be good for the buy at the level 1932 point 20. now of course the safe zone should be ranging exactly right here at that previous resistance right here exactly so the safe zone should be ranging for another 142 pips i think guys this is really uh too much but however 
the gold is moving very fast and please also we have to be very careful and not to mention of course if we started buying the gold right here our target is going to be the peak of the resistance right here on 1965 um there is a lot that, that i need to explain about the gold i'm going to talk about it in the in the next uh, deal of the day video and hopefully we will fix the previous deal of the day uh, trade so from the gold actually we are looking to make about 330 pips of profit and really hope uh it's gonna happen and we will make this profit so therefore take profit level is gonna be 1965.72 there goes your signals for the midweek of the week and i really hope uh, this mid midweek analysis is gonna fix up what we did in the weekly analysis now i know from my voice i'm not sounding i don't sound very confident i'm totally i'm totally aware about that it's just that i really hate when the analysis fails i'm not used to it i mean those who are following me for a long time they know that most of the times i think no less than 85 percent of my analysis is always accurate and hope and thankfully uh, the signals are really being triggered and goes in the right direction so therefore i just don't feel happy at all about the beginning of 2020 20, uh, 2021 uh, to have such results and anyway i really hope everything will be better and hopefully these signals is gonna work very well for us and bring us profits and in, anyway i talk too much i'm sorry <laughs> anyway uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching